5 billion euros. That's what the Dutch government is going to invest in new nuclear capabilities in the Netherlands. So what you see here, I'm sorry it's in Dutch, but you know, this is the coalition accord. This is basically the result of the elections earlier this year. Uh, they've taken so long, but the result for me is absolutely astonishing because it says that they're, you know, th this is this is basically uh, in, in the Netherlands, we have a parliamentary system. Uh, we have many different parties, which means that you always need to band together with a couple of other parties in order to make a government, right? So in the Netherlands, four parties have reached an agreement. It's the VVD party, it's the D66 party, the Sadia and the Christian Union. And they've banded together and they have created, they are now in the process of creating a new government based on this accord. So this accord was uh, was published yesterday. So this is fresh, fresh of the press. Um, so let me let me show you why this is this is an absolute watershed moment. This will send ripples throughout Europe. This will send ripples throughout the world, because we are going to do some pretty big things. So let me. I've got the search bar on. It says uh, "can," which is basically Dutch for nuclear. Um, so what? is in the new coalition accord about nuclear let me show you so um what they're going to do is so we are going to work on an energy mix right um and what they are going to say is okay a nuclear can be uh, an addition in the energy mix next to sun wind and geothermal uh um to produce electricity and to produce hydrogen uh, that's why we are going to uh, we are going to keep the Borsela nuclear power plant open. The Borsela nuclear power plant is a 500 megawatt pressurized water reactor. It's about 50 years old. By the time you know, it's 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 already almost 50 years old, and it has a license to run up up until 60 years. And they are going to try to extend that up until 80 years. Uh, there's already precedents for that. So it's not out of the question that it's going to happen. I've toured the plant once and it's an absolutely beautiful place. It's in pristine condition. And if you look at it from a technical perspective, it's the pinnacle of what we can do as a human race. And then, and this is this is very interesting. So if we if we read on, it says uh um uh, the government is going to take the necessary steps to prepare uh, to, to start building two new nuclear reactors. This means that we are going to help commercial, commercial uh, parties uh, to, uh, to do their reconnaissance of the energy market, and we're going to support innovations, and we're going to uh, create tenders, and we are going to support these nuclear capacity additions financially. We are going to create uh, a legislation to help uh, expedite this process. Basically, this is in the coalition accord. This is going to be policy in the Netherlands. Now, the beauty of it is, if I scroll down all the way down, because it's mentioned a couple of times, nuclear energy. Um, this is this is this is probably one of the most important things that I can show you right now. So putting skin in a game, nothing is more important. And to me, if a government says, okay, we're going to invest like two or three million, that's a that's that's like a tiny, tiny little bit bit of bitty of skin, you know. But what they're doing, it this is skin in the game. So over here, point two. What it says here, maatregel is basically a measure that they're going to take to um, to 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 uh, to to make headway in the climate um, problem. Uh, they're they're basically they're going to say, okay, this is going to help us reduce megatons, you know, of CO two emissions. 
And then they are going to say, okay, this is the electricity sector. And then they are going to say, okay, this is this is what we are going to, ex this, these are going to be our expenditures up until 2030. This is policy. That this is that this is stuff that they are going to uh, actually do. And they say here, point two, build nuclear power plants. Cumulative, five billion euros. That's right, five billion euros. This is absolutely incredible. So the government, the Dutch government, now has an official or the future Dutch government, which is going to be installed like early. Oh, sorry which is going to be installed like early January, probably, has a f a official position that they want to spend $5 billion on the addition of new nuclear power. This is absolutely amazing. Amazing. We can do loads with $5, million, uh, five billion. And this is basically subsidies and, you know, all kinds of stuff that they can do to expedite this entire process. Now, the World Nuclear News website has already picked up on it. So this news is going to send ripples throughout the entire energy world. And, you know, everybody who's interested in energy and nuclear energy should hear about this. Uh, World Nuclear News is saying uh, stuff about it. Uh, all the Dutch newspapers, the Belgian newspapers, they're already, uh, some of them are already going crazy because what is this? the Netherlands going to do and we are shutting down our nuclear reactors and they are going to start them up and and to some degree it's it's absolutely horrendous what is happening right now because we Dutch are uh, we have to pick up the slack basically the Belgians they are dropping their capacity the Germans are dropping their capacity and then there's us the tiny the tiny whiny Dutch Dutch country uh, who, who's who's saying okay enough of this we are going to do it. If you don't do it, we are going to do it. So we are taking responsibility. I'm tremendously uh, happy with this. So just to, to show you how well this news is received, this is a tweet that I sent out yesterday, a couple of hours after the coalition accord was, uh, was shared. Uh, so basically saying, okay, 5 billion euros in potential subsidies for new nuclear power plants were probably... Uh, so what is going to happen is we have one uh, energy company who want, who already has plans to build two conventional nuclear power plants, roughly 1,500 megawatts. Um, so, so let's say it's APR 1,400. Korean reactors or it's EPR 1,650 megawatts. Uh, I'm absolutely down with that. So, so, so w what we see is that this decision to say two nuclear reactors is specifically aimed at EPZ and PISA. Now, that doesn't mean that there's no room for other reactors because the Prime Minister has told has told us, listen, if you want to do SMRs and NNNs, you're welcome to it. Come here. We want to in it. We want to help you do uh, to to deploy this innovation. Uh, it's going to be good for our carbon uh, situation. It's going to be good for our economy. So it's amazing. And and just to show you, I mean, I have never ever had a tweet that had 313 likes, let alone almost 40, I mean, let alone almost 50,000 views. I have never ever had a tweet that had 50,000 views in my life. So, um, yeah, this is sending true ripples. And, and, and it's great because, I mean, all the green countries and the yellow countries on this on this page, if it's green or yellow, they have plenty of nuclear to go around. If it's orange or red or brown, it's mostly gas, coal, and other stuff that emits loads and loads of uh, of, of carbon dioxide. So this is absolutely great. Now, one thing I wanted to show you, and I have to keep this short because it's almost 10 minutes and I want to keep this video <laughs> at 12 minutes, uh, is that um, uh, GE, Tachi, and BWXT Canada and Synthos Green Energy, they're, they're moving ahead. They want to build 10 X300 reactors in Poland. And as you can see, Poland has no nuclear, Poland has only coal, a uh, little bit of gas and some wind. Uh, they really need it. Uh, so, and we need it as well. So, uh, expect the Netherlands to turn yellow and maybe even green in a couple of years. 
expect Poland to become brighter, expect Estonia to become brighter. And, you know, uh, it's going to be a hell of a challenge, but we're going to make it. So thank you all for watching. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.